Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have a brand new LEGO Harry Potter Summer 2023 set, Dobby the House Elf, set number 76421. Now first off, this set right here is cute at a first glance. However, the more time you spend looking at it, the more cursed things you realize are actually encompassed in this model. So it is very funny to just realize how scary this thing is by staring at it for an extensive amount of time. Now, trust me, I've stared at this thing for a long time and I've realized that there are a couple weird and awkward things with the model that kind of scare me. As a fully grown adult, I find this thing scary. Scary, so I will definitely be using this to scare some kids off in the very near future. Now, by all means, Dobby himself from the movies looks terrifying, so it definitely encompassed that aspect of him, so that is pretty cool there. The model itself isn't that bad. I mean, look at that. He has like his rag outfit there, which works quite well with the rest of the color scheme. However, look at that. Gray ball joints. Why? <laughs> Because obviously it's supposed to be a house elf, not a robotic house elf with robotic ball joints that are somehow a different color than his actual skin. So that's weird in my opinion. Anyway, the head here can rotate 360 degrees, which is very fun. You can do a bunch of cursed things with this thing. So yeah, look at that. His staring at the sky. Very funny. <laughs> you can almost snap off his neck. I just love the rotation here, which is amazing in my opinion. You know, I can also pull his head right Oh, it's stronger than I thought. My apologies. Anyway, look at that. The ears can actually move, which is funny. So you can make him have his ears up like that and you can stare at anything you want. Like you can make him stare right at you, which I do not recommend because it is kind of scary. I will keep repeating the word scary in this video because it's true. And he has a nice little evil smile, which is fantastic in my opinion. And you can make him put his hands on his hips, which is quite funny. And you can pretty much make him do whatever you want. And obviously he just decided to fall right off the stand, which is amazing. And you can always just go back on right like that. And in general, pretty cool. He has a little accessory right here, which is the Tom Marvolo Riddle Diary. Now, if you open this thing, you have the sock which freed him, unfortunately, and you have the actual diary itself. Now, in my opinion, the set should not come with this here because this version of Dobby, at least, should not be left out on the loose and should not be freed. So, yeah. And technically, I am not Lucius Malfoy, so I can give this to him and is not going to be free, so that's awesome. Anyway, look at that. He's holding the book there with the sock inside. Very nice. If you take a look at the very bottom, we have a Dobby plaque, which is quite nice. Now this is stickered right here, so really isn't uh, the best, if I do say so myself. And his very ugly knee joints are just hanging out. <laughs> very funny with his big old feet so yeah the stand though is like this circular premise here which is quite nice it works for what it is and sir dobby can just stand here stare at you and haunt you in your nightmares you're welcome lastly we have the cake build right here which looks absolutely scrumptious in my opinion featuring the lavender the reds the greens and the various layers of creamy cake so that is pretty cool in my opinion obviously it's sitting on this transparent stand which works for what it is I mean, well guys that pretty much brings a wrap to the video let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on the set right here and if you plan on picking it up on release day and on that i'll catch you guys in the next one bye for now